The fountain we are visiting today is in fact not in the downtown of Montreal, but in my hometown of Lachine, that was once its own city. Of the five fountains we've visited so far, this is the oldest of them. In the autumn of 1975, the city of Lachine commissioned one of their native sons, Gilles Pierre Dubois, to create a sculpture at the price of 55,000 Canadian dollars. In today's value, that would be about 303,000 Canadian dollars. Dubois called this work the Fountain of Life. Incorporating four immense female figures facing in opposite directions, with each representing the four elements, fire, air, water, and earth, it was inaugurated on June 24, 1977, a year after the city of Lachine had celebrated its 300th anniversary. These four elements call back to the first fountain we visited, and it's very similar in name. Rhea Pell's work was called the Tower of Life. I've seen a number of references to Dubois being influenced by Young, and this does seem to play out in this work. Carl Gustav considered fire and air to be active and male elements, whereas earth and water to be passive and female elements. Here earth, in the form of igneous rock, and water are definitely present. The sculpture itself is of blue anorthosite, a rock created by lava flows, imported from Norway. Surrounding Dubois statue as the centerpiece for this fountain, there are six spigots. Very much like the fountain dedicated to Iberville, the head of these spigots seem to be about one meter in height. The circular basin is about three meters in diameter and includes the spigots, though I was uncertain if the fountain included a lighting element. So on August 13th, I revisited the fountain to see if there were lighting elements, even though it was already dark. I couldn't tell.